Staying Strong, Healthy, and Youthful. By subscribing, liking, and ringing, you can greatly support our channel and help us produce more content that you'll love. Hello and welcome to the Longevity Lifestyle YouTube channel. Aspirin Use for Prevention. Who needs it and who doesn't? Aspirin is a widely used medication that has been around for over a century. It is commonly used to relieve pain and inflammation, and to reduce the risk of blood clots. However, its use for prevention is more controversial. In recent years, there has been a lot of debate about who should be taking aspirin for prevention, and who should not. In this video, we will explore the current guidelines and recommendations for aspirin use for prevention, and discuss who needs it and who doesn't. What is aspirin? Aspirin is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, that is used to treat pain, fever, and inflammation. It works by blocking the production of certain chemicals in the body that cause pain and inflammation. It is also an anticoagulant, meaning it can reduce the risk of blood clots forming. Aspirin for prevention, who needs it? Aspirin is commonly used for prevention in people who have a history of heart attacks, strokes, or other cardiovascular events. It is also used in people who have had procedures such as coronary artery bypass grafting, CABG, or stenting. In these cases, aspirin is used for secondary prevention, which means it is used to prevent a recurrence of the original problem. For people who have not had a cardiovascular event, aspirin may be used for primary prevention. This means it is used to prevent a first cardiovascular event from occurring. However, the use of aspirin for primary prevention is controversial, and the guidelines for its use vary. The American Heart Association, AHA, recommends that people who are at high risk of cardiovascular disease should consider taking low-dose aspirin for primary prevention. This includes people who have a 10-year risk of developing cardiovascular disease of 10% or higher. This risk is calculated using factors such as age, gender, blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and smoking status. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force, USPSTF, recommends against the use of aspirin for primary prevention in people who are at low risk of cardiovascular disease, which includes people who have a 10-year risk of less than 10%. However, for people who are at intermediate risk, 10 to 20% 10-year risk, the decision to use aspirin should be made on an individual basis, taking into account the potential benefits and risks. Aspirin for prevention, who doesn't need it? Aspirin is not recommended for everyone, and there are some people who should not take it. The USPSTF recommends against the use of aspirin for primary prevention in people over the age of 60, as the risk of bleeding may outweigh the potential benefits. The risk of bleeding is also higher in people who have a history of bleeding disorders, ulcers, or other gastrointestinal problems. Aspirin is also not recommended for women who are pregnant, as it may increase the risk of bleeding during delivery. It is also not recommended for children, as it may increase the risk of a rare but serious condition called Reye's syndrome. Risks and side effects of aspirin use. Aspirin use is not without risks, and it can cause side effects in some people. The most common side effect is gastrointestinal bleeding, which can be serious in some cases. Other side effects can include bruising, stomach pain, and ringing in the ears. In rare cases, aspirin can cause an allergic reaction, which can be life-threatening. Symptoms of an allergic reaction can include hives, difficulty breathing, and swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat. If you experience any of these symptoms after taking aspirin, seek medical attention immediately. Aspirin can also interact with other medications, such as blood thinners, and can increase the risk of bleeding. It is important to inform your healthcare provider of all medications you are taking, including over-the-counter medications and supplements. Conclusion Aspirin can be a useful tool for preventing cardiovascular events in some people, but its use for prevention is controversial, and the guidelines for its use vary. If you are considering taking aspirin for prevention, it is important to speak with your healthcare provider to weigh the potential benefits and risks. If you are currently taking aspirin for prevention, it is important to follow the recommended dosages and to be aware of the potential risks and side effects. If you experience any symptoms that may be related to aspirin use, such as stomach pain or bleeding, seek medical attention immediately. As with any medication, aspirin should be used with caution and under the guidance of a healthcare provider. 
With the right information and guidance, aspirin can be a valuable tool in preventing cardiovascular events in some people. Thank you for watching and we hope this video has been informative and helpful. I recommend that you watch all the videos I upload from the beginning to gain a comprehensive understanding of the topics covered. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on health and wellness. See you in the next one.